Hello again, Izzy from Digital Gojo Showrooms. Again, I've been looking at questions in Amazon, eBay, customer service, and also on our YouTube channel about people asking whether triggers can add high speed sync to a flash, and if the flash has high speed sync, if you use it with triggers that don't have high speed sync, will that still work? If this video helps you out, remember to hit me up with a like button underneath and subscribe to our channel for future sessions, unboxings, and tutorials like this. And don't forget, when in Miami, visit Digital Gojo Showrooms. Here I have a popular flash, the Altura Photo APC958X for Canon. This flash does have high speed sync. So when you turn your flash on, you can press this little button here, which is for high speed sync and second curtain. So. I clicked it on and there's a little icon lit up there for high speed sync. So with that one, you're set to go. And when you put it on your EOS camera, here I have a Rebel T6S, again, a very popular camera. If we go into our menu, right? I can go into the flash menu, go to external and notice how you can go ahead and activate your high speed synchronization. So move it over to high speed sync and now they're both working properly so I can go ahead and uh, let's pick a nice fast shutter speed here. 1 800 of a second. I can fire away and get a close up of uh, let's take a look here. I can get a shot of the of my camera setup, so it worked fine. Now, even though it's on high speed sync, I'm going to turn it off because these flashes do maintain it in the memory. And now I'm going to put it onto the Altura wireless trigger set. Now this guy does not have high speed sync, so I'm going to set it on here. And remember, you have to put this on there correctly and lock it in place so that it doesn't fly off. Turn on the flash. It's on high speed sync. So let's give it a try. I'm getting the incorrect exposure because it's not working at 1 800 of a second. I'm having it not synchronized properly and it's giving me that dark area, which means it's not going to give me the correct exposure when I'm working off of the hot shoe. So if your flash has high speed sync, it will work perfectly while it's on the hot shoe. But you have to look for trigger sets that also accommodate high speed synchronization when they're in this mode where, you, again, your flash is not on the hot shoe, it's on the trigger set. So that's the only way you're gonna be able to maintain high speed sync if you wanna work off camera. You have to be working with either two flashes, so you'll have to work with the optical system that this has, the ETTL automatic synchronization. That way you can maintain the high speed sync. But again, you'll, it'll take two flashes to be able to do that. So again, this proves that if your flash has high speed sync, your triggers also have to have that capability. You cannot maintain high speed sync in a trigger set that doesn't support it only when working with two flashes and then you're working with the optical system that they have. Happy shooting!